Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve yet another interesting JavaScript problem. So we have to write or we have to implement a function that can generate a CSS selector. So CSS selector as you may be aware are used to apply styles to the element. So we will be given an entry point and a target and we have to generate the CSS selector from the start or the beginning or the entry till the target so if you see this DOM structure here we have the entry so the entry is the root with the id root and then we have a target which is this button and we have to generate the css from the root till target now let's see how we can generate the css so because if you see the DOM structure there are two buttons over here right the second button is with the id target let's say without target id we have a certain class and we have to generate the css for the class so classes can be applied to the multiple elements and ids are unique to each dom element so depending upon the question type right what interviewer gives you you have to slightly modify your answer so let's see for the id how we can generate so the target element right that we are targeting will first select this and we'll also select the root element and what we'll do is we'll start traversing back from the target till the root so we'll start from here and we'll move to the root and while traversing what we'll do is we'll use an array to store the current element in the array so let's say i'm starting from this target so i'm starting from this target so this is an array and here we have the target okay so this is the initial element now because there are two buttons right so i'm not going to use this id selector to identify rather what i'll do is i'm going to use the nth child selector to determine which element we are targeting we are using nth child selector because see this has id but what about this parents so this parent does not has any id right but we need a specific selector to target only this span now next to this span what if there is another span this one so and here it has only one button so if we select the id for this particular button element right and but there are no identifier for its parent or sibling so in that case the best thing we can do is we can use the nth child selector that will specifically target the parents so let me comment this out and once our implementation is done we'll uncomment this and we'll see that if our uh, you know the solution we have generated uh, created to generate the css selector is working fine or not so i'm going to use the nth child selector and we are going to use the forward arrow so forward arrow selector in css targets only the child element so if you are at p right and let's say you have to apply the span a css type so from p to span so inside the span there can be another span so here also we can have a span let's say so if you are directly selecting right let's say you have to apply the style for the span so if you write something like this p span so what it will do is it will attach the style to the all the spans of the p whether it is child grandchild or at any level so we don't want that what we want is we want to apply the style to the immediate child only not beyond that so in that case we'll use the greater than or the arrow selector over here that will so this targets only the child elements and it does not goes beyond that so this is the one thing we are going to use as a separator and we are going to use the nth child to determine which element we have to select so as i, as I was saying we'll start with the target then we'll move to the parent so this is the target will move to the parent so parent is span so here we will unshift and we add 
span before the target now before span there is p tag so we'll move to the p tag before this and before p there is section so before p there will be section and above section there is the root element so let's say we have reached to the parent so this is how we are going to traverse we'll start with the target element and we will traverse back to the top to the root element and all these once we have all the selectors in the place in the array we will join them on the this uh, forward arrow or greater than arrow symbol so this will ultimately become root section p and then span and then your target element and here we are going to use the specific nth child selector to determine which child we have to target because i explained right there can be two spans over here so what we want is we want to target this first span only so while generating the selector we'll say that nth child one should be targeted which means we have to target this first span only we don't want to check in the second span so this is how we are going to implement the or we are going to implement our solution to generate the css selector so let's start writing the code it may sound little complex but it is uh, you know it's not that hard it's quite simple to implement this all we have to do is the logic that we have broken down here we have to convert that to code so i am writing this class css generator and this will take the root or the entry point and the target element as input so both of these are the elements dom elements and let's say we fix the root on root equals to document dot get element by id and root similarly let's fix the target also target target and then we'll pass the root and target to the css generator so here console.log css generator and root and target now inside the css generator we'll add our logic to generate the css so first thing is i'm creating the array of selectors and at the end we have to return the selectors joined by the greater than array because we have to form this string so the child selector strings that's why all the selectors will be joined by the greater than arrow and it will be ultimately returned and here comes our logic so as i explained right we'll start from the target and we'll move upwards to the root so i'm adding a check over here while the root is not equal to target that means when we are traversing back we'll update the reference of the target so once we have found this selector right we have created a selector for this button we'll move and change the reference to the span then move and change the reference to the p tag ultimately section and then root so once we have reached to the root this condition will meet and the loop will break so we are traversing back now we have to first thing we have to find the nth child so let's say nth and to find the nth child right i have to find at which position or which child this button is so to find this button's position what we'll do is we'll move one step above we'll say that get the button's parent which is span and get all the elements of the span so these three elements and from all these three elements determine the position of the target so basically we'll move to the parent we'll select all the child of the parent and from that we will find the position of the current element to do that here we will say array dot from so array dot from is a method that returns or uh, that returns a array so the dom returns the node list of the children from the node list we will form an array so here let's say target dot parent node dot children so this will return us the list of all the children's and from this we have to find the 
index of the target or the current element so this will give the index position now sorry target so we have went to the parent we have got all its selector and from uh, all its children sorry and from the children's we have determined what's the index of the target element now the array indexes start from 0 to and go to the um, last element minus 1 or the length of the array minus 1 but the end child selector begins from 1 so that's why we will add 1 to this because array starts from 0 and our nth child selector starts from 1 that's why we are adding 1 to determine what's the position of the current target now we have got the position of the target now let's create the selector so selector is basically a string that determines so here we'll say that target get the target and node sorry we have to get the targets tag name so whatever the html tag name of the target is here it's button and then we'll change that to lowercase and to this we'll add the nth child and whatever the value of nth child we have got so this is the nth child now I added the nth child over here and now let's unshift and add the selector at the beginning so because we are moving from down to up we are unshifting in the array so we are adding the new selector before the previous one so that's it and after that we'll move to the parent node so we change the reference and we move to parent node so one step above so we have reference to the current targets parent and then again the loop will run and it will do the check and it will find the selector and it will push in the selectors array ultimately we have started from button we move to the root element now once we meet the root the loop terminates so what we have to do is we have to add the root selector at the end because this is where we'll begin our css selector so let's do that in the selector array i am unshifting and i am adding so let me copy this the target name so you can either write target or root because ultimately the target has reached till the root so we don't have to worry the target is currently referencing to the root only so we got the root and it's tag name to the lowercase and here i am using a unique identifier because there is an id attached to this right so this is uh, i'm going to use for the selection so here i'm saying that find with the id whose value is target dot id now you can use any unique selector over here to determine the root so if you just use the tag name right there can be multiple divs in your dom so it's better you use a unique identifier to uh, identify the uh, root element so because um, i have attached id to identify you can use classes or any other you know custom tags to uh, sorry custom attributes to determine the root element so this is also added and ultimately we are returning the selector over here by joining it with the greater than arrow so now if you see if i run this our selector is generated so you see it's starting from the root it's going to the uh, section of nth child 2 then p nth child 1 span nth child 1 and then ultimately button with this which is nth child 2 so let me copy this selector from here let's copy this and let's move to the CSS section. I have pasted the selector. And now, if I apply a property, right, let's say color is red. So, if I add this and if I click on the run, you will see that the button color is updated and it's changed to red. So, our CSS selector is working perfectly fine. Now, just to determine, let me change the name of uh, uh, click me to run this again. So, you'll see that the click me to button it changes to red. If I change this to purple, 
it should work seamlessly so see this becomes purple or yellow whatever to make it clear so see the change the color has been updated to yellow now if i uncomment this so we have two spans right now and let me clear the console run this again you will see that the css uh, that is the css selector that is generated it's still pointing to the span and child one that means we are selecting the span proper span of the target element so the exact parent and if i copy this and if i replace it over here you will see there is no difference so it is working as expected and here we got the output let me change the background color also over here to see if the properties are working or not so if i add background as red click on the run button you see it is working fine so this is how you can generate a css selector through a function for the two given dom nodes i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time